versus race for FW Esports. It's like the PUBG Thailand series all over again. Oh my god. Eight kills and seven kills respectively for these two teams. A big performance for FW to start the night off in a much better fashion to the way they finished night one for T5 though. An opportunity to maybe push themselves closer to that top spot. And it's just a peak battle, Russell. Who could get yeah. a little bit luckier? Oi, oi, oi. Okay. Oh, this, I, yeah, this is giving me anxiety. Because, you know, you look at the blue and I, both of these players are pushed out eventually. None of them are in a good spot. Both of them are sitting, in, or they were. Pathenbong's jumped off the roof now. Oh. Giving up info. I hate this in 1v1s. I hate giving up info. You can see he's got high ground to play with as well. Granted, it is the unplayable rocks, and they're probably incredibly open to raise. But Pathenbong's given away info. So he's got to have some other plan in mind to win this game against Raze, or him giving up the info. Raze can go for the revive, Might have just though. lost it to him. He can, yeah. Oh, got I mean, this is the only other option Pathenbong has. This, this high ground, or it's nothing. Oh, the spray! It's good! And Raze is sitting out in the open now. Pathenbong surely should win it from here. Raze is going to have to hit some sick shots. He can't. Well played from Pathenbong. That is something that they have information on. Saw the mortar strikes coming from his direction. Nade was thrown in his direction too and did a tiny bit of damage. So that's at least one player accounted for. And full well, I think they've cleared the entire fields on their side of the road. So they know... The final three players are on the opposite side of this road. So in terms of information, Newhouse Esports are strapped up with all the info yep. here to close this game out and look to find a nine kill win. It would be their fourth win at this tournament, by the way. This is a team that just knows how to get chicken dinners. Crazy. They know the circle algos, that's for sure. Long case put himself very close to the other side of the road. That's a good ridge to work with. Solid position. And they're already opening it up. FW doesn't even have a chance to get rid of Sololzi, and Long K is going to do it himself. Only one up. It's just six sacks. Uh, Newhouse Esports, they'll collide, combine. He's on the edge of blue. Wouldn't be surprised if he gives it up, and he does behind the car. No kill for Newhouse Esports. What a win from them. Eight kills, decent from a, a feed like that, but you cannot fault them for not messing that up. They played that as perfectly. Oh. But everyone on Buram is popping shots of Fury right now and hitting them too. So oh, rough. Oh my in. god! Oh. Bro, I may as well just, just take a, a quick... multi at this point instead of the mini. Double heads. Uh, he he would have wiped them at this point. Oh my god. I mean, full control for Buram right now. As long as they don't throw it away to six sacks, as long as they don't lose control to one man behind the rock, it's all theirs. No frag grenade here for Edie, so the Molotov is what's going to have to do. I like the position for six sacks, and he's got a smoke that can aid him, but Fury, they probably need to leave him alive. Like 12 gets knocked by Kanaxi, but if you do get the kill to six sacks, that's second place. So go for yeah. it. If you can, you may as well. 10 kills for FW, and a nade from Sneak Attack to at least confirm not only the kill point, but second place for Fury, knowing full well that they're in a tough spot from here. Sneak attack in a one versus three. Please, Luke, runs into the blue. Does he die to the blue? Yes, he does. That, though, is a Fury Ram United win, a seven kill win, and it shifts them up into seventh place overall on the leaderboard as they take Tago. So collect a win from here, though. The onus is on them. Akita gets the knock, should get the flush, then spots Tanvu behind the vehicle. Eight kills now for Exo, and it's a clean two for everyone. An even performance across the board. Yeah. For the last couple of minutes as well, they've had so much control over this zone. They should have all the info in the world. And if they don't have the info, then they've got the terrain to play with to kind of mediate whatever they don't know about. These are good nades, though. Going towards TE. One of them should at least get the flush, yeah. And the second one, maybe it's good enough. It is. Akita, no longer even inside Nikita lead the way. And now their priority shifts. A knock onto Shanks makes it so much easier for Exo to run around this circle like it's theirs. And it is theirs. Riz will die to the blue like we've seen so many other times in this tournament so far. You cannot give up those points, but Exo, they got a win yesterday and they need this momentum to continue. That was a pretty... Especially just to relieve some of that pressure up close, James. No kills yet for Armory Gaming, but this is their time now. Make their position known. Ruram got another tag onto QC. Still shots in their direction, but they're trying to make the gap a little bit closer. Smoke's going out. Big nade and a shot as well from Can. So that's, again, two down for QC. They've been in this situation before. They were able to salvage it last time. 
But this time around, there's no purple mood for Bureau Ram to turn their attention to. Now their attention will be firmly fixated on QC because Armory Gaming are beneath them. Ooh. Nice push out from Dimasty. Can he get the second of Denordra? Probably needs oh, to get it. Denordra does go down. Jinxie got that knock. Bureau Ram, it's only Ken. Ken is the only one out. He makes the jump down. He gets the knock. Runs out of ammo. Pulls out the Mark 12. What? Just wants to give him the kill. Can't turn around. Bureau Ram are out of this game. QC with one player left. Armory Gaming will find the win. Oh my god. A three kill win for Armory Gaming. Uh, what just happened? Yeah, I mean, this is it. This is when it can turn around. If it's going to, this is where it, this is where it has to. That's it. Two teams remaining. NGE versus Q confirm. They were in control, and NGE, unfortunately for them, are stuck inside the shack. You have to wonder now whether there was a timing they could have left whether one of them could have ran down towards where Opont is now or done something, put up smokes to prepare for this eventual uh, 3v3, but none of them did. Stuck in the shack, copping headshots through the window. One of them is low, could catch Opont out, but I can't. Now I'm, I'm very close to penciling Q confirm in. The only th question, I suppose, is Hung Fo Do oh, rotating with Hung this Fong. card. Oh, got no oh, idea. Oh, he's alive. He Don't can fight back. He oh. goes for the peak, could have maybe played the tree and waited for Fap and Van Nye to maybe help out. Fap gets knocked as well by Petret. It's only Van Nye remaining. Really no world in which Q confirmed ever should have really lost this game, but they still had to do their due diligence, still had to hit some good shots. Really good play. Petret on one side, Opon's on the other. 14 kill win for Q confirmed. That gets them to 70 points and sneaks them into the top. Just as sensational, but a lot of their work was done last night. Big discrepancy.